Alright, what's going up guys? It is Mark here from Techie Tutorials and I'm going to try and get through this as fast as possible. So, today, what I'm going to be showing you is how to create the old school Techie Tutorials lens flare intro, which is pretty sweet. So, um, basically we have this lens flare coming down, our text is scrolling in, I have hand animations going on here, you can't see me. Um, and basically the lens flare then, it looks like a big flash emerges, covers the screen, and then you transition into your video. So, we're going to go into new and we're going to come down to the media generators we're going to drag down a black background we're going to right click insert a video track and we're going to come over here to the prototype titler drag down empty and bam there we go now what i think is a suitable time for an intro is five seconds if you want a longer one you know if you want it slower it's up to you you do that now you can right click and go into edit generated media on your prototype titler this big window pops up, you may need to enlarge it, just click and drag here at the corner. Click on Collections, click on Fly In, now you're going to click and drag Fly In all the way down here. And that's fine. Now you're going to see something on the preview, and you're not going to see it here maybe. But you're going to click and drag this over until it's in. You're going to click on the, and then double click, and you can edit the text. You're going to say Techie Tutorials, or you can say whatever you want, you want to say cheese, you say cheese, you say whatever you want. You select your font, if you want this font, I'll put it in the underbar. And you're going to need to highlight your text to make sure that it changes. Okay, my food just came on, better hurry. So you're going to press escape to get out of that. You go lower it down a bit. I'm going to add a nice bluey glow in here. Okay, that's done. Bring up the glow percentage. And done. Now what you're going to do is come over here to the video effects. Go into lens flare, grab your sunburst effect, click, drag it down onto your black background. Now you're going to set it to minus one, minus one, which brings it up to the top left corner, up here. You can drag, click and drag as well if you want. I'm going to put in a nice blue tint. Click, drag the tint up. I'm also going to drag the intensity up a tiny bit. And then I'm going to bring the perspective down, which basically means the sunburst part gets smaller and the other part gets bigger. Now what you're going to want to do is come here and click animate, or if you're in an older version, just click and drag up. Now what you're going to do is come over here to the end, okay and we're going to put this at zero zero that is the center of the screen we're going to come over here small bit and just click add keyframe so we're going to come back to the end and we're going to increase the intensity uh, yeah that's pretty good now if we play it back you're going to see you've got the lens flare coming in you've got the text coming in then towards the end the lens flare lights up and it stops in the middle now what I want to do is bring this back here a little bit, because although at the end it looks like there's a space, there'll be a transition here. So it's coming in, it's stopping, it's getting bright, and there's a bit of space here at the end. Now what we're going to do is come over here to Media Generators, select a solid color, drag down a white, and you're going to drag down a white for the bottom track also. And what you're going to do is add a transition, a flash, a hard flash between the two. Okay, and you're going to make sure you do it on the bottom also. So what we have here is we have text, bam, we have a flash coming in. Now as you can see, I don't think mine is timed up perfectly. My lens flare comes in a bit early, so I'm going to click on the last keyframe, drag it down a bit, and I'm going to move this one also. Basically what this keyframe is, is this is all the same, except it's moving. And then from here to here, it's moving, but the intensity also gets bigger, so it looks like it's lighting up. And then the flash animation transition comes in. And bam, it looks like the whole thing is lighting up in your face. And so what we're going to do is just split the white clips here. And we're done. All you have to do is go ahead and render this out. And you can start bringing it into your videos. Now, since I still have a minute or so left before this gets really long, I'll show you guys how to bring it into your videos. So once you have it rendered, okay, you're going to open up whatever you're going to open up your project and let's see okay this is big okay bam okay so let's say here's where you want your intro to come in you're going to go ahead split that just click s and drag you're going to come over here and click open then you're going to bring in your render of the intro and here it is now if you look at it from your video it goes 
like this and then it goes bam straight into the intro so what we're going to do is we're going to fade out our video bring it up here until you see this little arrow angle here fade out and just drag this in actually just drag this in so we get a a nice fade through this fades through we're getting this and then you can see why we added the white here at the end because if we just added the flash it would flash go back to black so we have the nice flash here into white we're gonna click here once it's white split the clip delete the extra bit drag in our the rest of our video come over here to the transitions grab a flash grab a hard flash drag it down put it in as a transition there and finally here is our final video intro comes in with the lens square coming in we got the text coming in we got a flash and then it flashes right into our video okay guys that's pretty much it and uh, thanks very much for watching you can uh, you can adjust the length of the flash and such there if you want and uh, yeah that's pretty much it make sure you click the links in the underbar and check out the extended edition and all the font and all that stuff all right guys thanks very much for watching uh, see you next time